Hey, what's up guys? Rev here. Today, we're going to delve into a very serious topic. Now, you guys know that I'm not a drama channel, but we all know that YouTubers with a sizable following have a civic duty to use their influence responsibly. I couldn't sleep at night knowing my followers are not properly informed of the disgusting, toxic behavior that is commonplace amongst one of my fellow anime YouTubers. This man, this man-child, is trouble. Someone whose dangerous rhetoric threatens the stability of not only his own YouTube community, but society as a whole. Today, we have to talk about Hirohei because besties, I've heard a lot of problematic things about this cis white male. This hate monger has been exposed countless times on social media for the atrocities he has committed. And though I've never checked the veracity of these claims, I will accept the charges against him with full merit because people never lie on social media. Just look at this man's YouTube channel. No words, except for the buzzwords I'm about to throw at him. Look at this man. Look at the content he creates. Just look at it. Please, raise your soy, sugar-free, organic, grass-fed, non-cruelty-based lattes with me when I say this quote-unquote man is a complete menace. This misogynistic white white supremacist dog whistle white dog whistle he's a dog whistle ladies and gentlemen yeah he's whistling a tune all right something hateful i'm sure and hero in his ignorance has proudly showed off his face attaching it to his content look at this man the face behind all of the hate terrifying to know that he could just be another guy walking down the street and you wouldn't even know it but after making his face publicly aware I turned over to the good guys of the Chinese government to run some biometrics on his facial profile, and let's just say, some very troubling images were shared with me. It turns out, Hero has quite the international presence. Here's a photo of him posing with fellow Somali pirates after their successful hijacking of an international cruise ship only a few years ago. 30 passengers were killed before Hero and the pirates collected their ransom money. Think that's bad? Oh, it gets much worse. Here's a leaked photo from the Harambe exhibit in 2016. The media scrubbed this image clean to keep the public naive and calm. But this is what really happened on that fateful day. Here's another one, dated November 22, 1963, the day of John F. Kennedy's assassination. Look carefully to the left. Recognize someone? There was no magic bullet, no grassy knoll, just hero lurking, waiting for his moment to strike. His brutality and sadism has absolutely no end. His bloodlust seemingly never quenched. As you can see, this man has quite the infamous history. He must be stopped at all costs. Okay, in case there's anyone who's still painfully gullible enough to be buying this still, I'll clear it up now. This video is satire. I've seen many people try to do these exposed videos and threads on him, and they're all just downright garbanzo. I was reminded of this the other day when I saw people mentioning him on a tweet about the second season of Uzaki-chan being announced. His name gets tossed around a lot on Twitter. He's always being memed on for covering Twitter stuff, when in reality, there's tons of people, including myself, who do the exact same thing. But I enjoy his content and I know many of you do too. And if he's anything like me, seeing people seethe over you and get angry enough to voluntarily waste their time trashing an internet person they don't even know is a unique form of a compliment that you just got to take and strive. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.